Ahoy, mateys! Welcome back to The Secret of Monkey Island. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. In the last episode, we were looking for a couple of things that we didn't find. We were looking for a way to get past the troll. We were looking for a way to get past the dogs in front of the mansion. So hopefully we can find those things in this episode. As always, feel free to leave a comment on things that I should be looking for. Maybe some Easter eggs that I want to pay attention to in this game. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'll just be off to All seek right. my fortune now. Let's, uh... Good luck! Go back into town, I guess. I need to find something that's gonna that's gonna drug the dogs. That's gonna put the dogs to sleep. I really want to get on this ship in the background too. Like, there's got to be something good in there, right? There's nothing back here. Give this to the pupper. Grr. I think he's happy with his bone. Hmm. Okay. Nothing else then. Maybe I need something from that fish? The bird's eating? How do I get rid of the bird, though? Wait for this guy to come out and sneak back in again. Okay, can I... seem to work. No. Okay. Got whatever this is. I think it's a herring. Okay, can I use the herring in the pot of soup? I guess so. Ow! Got it! Okay, so what did that do? seem to work. Hmm. Well, I have a cooked fish. I have a cooked fish and I have cooked meat. Okay. Um. So what else do I need to do? I hate to go all the way back to the troll, but is he... I don't want to come between a pirate and his grog. Is the... troll going to take the red herring? I got breath mints. I could go give the breath mints to the, the guy in the jail. Maybe that'll help. Let's do that. Because I didn't want to talk to him because he had bad breath. So let's go talk to this guy first. 
See what info he's got for me. And then maybe we can get something else done. Hey, bud. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. Here you go. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. <laughs> Grago Mint. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Not really. Um. Who are you? My and what did you do? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. <laughs> I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Uh oh. Can't you see? I'm innocent. You don't look innocent to me, but. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? What flowers? The yellow conish in dormy flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Oh. Okay. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Sloth, grog, gruel, rats, <laughs> bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. Yeah. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot <laughs> can cake. Can I have it? Actually, the cookie the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What's... What about the rump roast? What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast i ever seen with a prehensile <laughs> tail. Oh, no. Um, so yeah. who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. <laughs> Sheriff Shine Top sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shine Top is the meanest man on Melee Island. Fester? Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. Hmm. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. Ooh. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. Not at all, not at all. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Um. Yeah, he is filthy. And he smells <laughs> bad, too. Fester. Hey, thanks a lot. You've got a lot of nerve coming into this town and passing judgment on the locals. If there's something you don't like about the way we smell, you're welcome to leave anytime. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Look, I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it's probably illegal. You're not wrong. So forget it. Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. No monkey business. Man, Got you it. see a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get us both in trouble. But I want, I want your carrot cake. Look, I like visitors and everything, but I don't have much more to say. Plus, my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Why don't you go find someone else to talk to? It's not like I'm the only pirate left on the island or anything. All right, I don't really didn't get too much out of him. So I guess then let's go and see if the troll wants the hair. I didn't, I didn't want to come here. I got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. You want this? Ah, a red herring. Pass. Thank you. Did it.
<laughs> All right. What's over here? Stan. Why don't see anything special about it? Why don't see anything special about it? Can I open it? It doesn't seem to open. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Okay, so it's not even here. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Some of your finest grog, please. Chilling my money. Look at the boats here. Ah, a fixer upper. <laughs> ah, a fixer upper. Now that's a nice looking vessel. Is it? Dull, dull, dull. Mm. Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. Okay. I'm surprised this one is still afloat. Really? All right, Stan's not here. We looked around. I don't see anything special about it. Can I pick up this bucket? Cannot. All right, I guess we're headed back. At least we can go to this house now, though. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Grappling hook? Extra. Hmm. Well, I think I'll knock. <laughs> It'd only be polite. You've not knocked anywhere else you've went. You've just walked right in. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? All right, let's just get straight into it. You want to uh, train me to be better than the swordmaster? Could you train me to be better than the swordmaster? Better than the swordmaster? Oh, hello, sir. You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat could you train and her? If you train her, you can train I me. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. What'd she say? You just don't have what it takes. Hmm... Yeah, I do. I do so have what it takes. You do not. Yes, I do. I do so. You do not. Yes, I do. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do <laughs> what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Of course. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's uh -huh. get to it. Cost me a hundred pieces, eh? Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Here we go. Boy. You fight like a dairy farmer. <laughs> I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. Hey. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special... 
student mentor pieces of aid bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. Is this gonna hurt? <laughs> yep, it's gonna Yuck. hurt. <laughs> Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. No! Beat first, then lunge! Distance, distance! Distance, distance! Watch your footwork. No! Beat first, then lunge! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. <laughs> Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. There we go. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. Oh. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Okay. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. Oh, I one see. that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Okay. Imagine this. Yep. We're fighting up a storm. Yep. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. Mm. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? Uh, none of these are good. So's your mother. So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> You should have responded with something like, How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You okay. see, it's razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. Yep. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with, so is your mother. <laughs> there it is. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> no, no, no. That was the response from the last uh, insult. I, this Doesn't is even great. make sense when used here. Oh. <laughs> a correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like So is your mother. First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't do I that can't here. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. Yeah. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. <laughs> hmm. Troll's gone. Just keep going. Fork? Fork in the road? Which path do you take? Where do you even practice your insults at? Stopping a there we pirate go. can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I probably should be trying different ones so I learned some different insults. 
soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. You call yourself a pirate? I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. I've heard you were a contemptible snake. Okay. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Okay. So we just need to do this a few times to try to get some more. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. Yeah, I just need to keep doing this a few times to get some more insults. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you oh, at all. That's a good one. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Huh. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Okay, that one was this Too one. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Boy, are you ugly. <laughs> Is this the best you can come up with? Look no. behind you, a three-headed monkey. I just gotta get get some more practice. That's all. Too close to the fork. me way through my name is Guybrush Threepwood prepare to die people fall at my feet when they see me coming oh you rubber you are glue boy are you ugly I'm insulted. You'd even try to use that insult on me. You make me want to puke. Ew. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. It's all right. We're getting some new ones. You have the manners of a beggar. Ooh. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Okay, so we got a couple new insults. We just got to get the responses to Are them. You, up? you win. Get the old ugly pirate. Die. Oh, this better be important. It is. My name is Guybrush Streetwood. Prepare to die. Okay, I need to get an answer to this one. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Good one. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? <laughs> You make me think somebody already did. <laughs> You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber, you are glue. 
where did my sword go? Hey, this better be important. My get name more. is Guybrush Streepwood. Prepare to die. I feel like I'm going to need responses to all of these, so... Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Yeah, there we go. This is the end for you, oh. you gutter crawling cur. Oh, yeah? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Okay. Too That's bad no one. one's ever heard of you at all. No match for my brains, you poor fool. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Okay. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. There's your new response. That's good. Where did my sword go? All right. So maybe like just one or two more, and we should be able to. To go find the sword master. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. Okay. My name is go. Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Um, let's see here. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you feel comfortable mm -hmm. with me. I already had that one. There are no words for how disgusting you are. That's a new one. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I give up, you win. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. You scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. Okay, that's good. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. This one? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever okay. used them. Yep, that was that was a new one. That's good. You make me want to puke. Okay. You make me think somebody already did. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never oh, learn. This has been a good one. This one's actually been, uh... Yikes, nice move. Yeah, that was actually a good match. I think we're about ready to go face... the Swordmaster. We just have to figure out how to get to her, her hideout. Which I think the, uh, shopkeeper knows where that is.
So maybe we go ask him. I've got my eye on you, you boy. You don't have anything left Steal to take. Steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. No, oh, I really please. am. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. <laughs> Be right back. You didn't go last time. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't yeah. try anything. All right. Follow him. There he goes. We gotta catch up. We gotta know where this hideout is ourselves. Instead of no, instead of following this guy all the time. Run, guy, brush. You let him get away. There he goes. Left. Right. Right. Straight. Left. Oh boy. We'll never find our way back here. Go. Yeah, trick sign. Better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Yeah, hide. I can see you just standing there at the bridge. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. All right, let's go talk to Carla. We're as, as equipped as we can be. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. I, Let's I be am. honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. You're not wrong. Nailed it right on the head. <laughs> Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Times sports page that you haven't won a single fight. Mm. This would be nothing more than a waste of my time. No, no, no. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. We've got to practice. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Times sports page that you haven't won a single fight. This would be nothing more than a waste of my time. Really? How You're not even going to let me try? The Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. 
Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Do you have one in size three? Of course you don't. Because you're not really a jacket salesman. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the mm. pirate leaders in have hopes to win. of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Time sports page that you haven't won a single fight. This would be nothing more than a waste of my time. All right, well, we're never going to find our way back here, but we're going to have to... Uh... We're going to have to win a, win a fight first, I guess. Because I was mostly just doing it, trying to get as many responses as I could so that I would be prepared, but... That didn't do any good. Hello, I need to fight you. Hey, this better be important. It's very important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. All right, let's uh, let's see if there's any that we haven't got answers to yet. Maybe this one. Huh? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. <laughs> this guy was not prepared to fight today. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? My handkerchief will wipe up oh, your that's blood. that's a new one. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Okay. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. There we go. So now we want to fight. You win. But I do have some new phrases that I probably move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Just to be prepared. Um, let me see if I can find that one. Because that's an important one. Hmm. This one, nope, this one. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't get a response for it. Boy, are you ugly. What an amateur insult. <laughs> there are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Okay. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather Wish I'd have that first one back again, because I really need a response to that. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. That's a new one, too. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. So maybe we I need to do a couple win. more. Okay, let's see what else we need here. P 
people fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? Yep, that's a new one. So we got an answer for that one. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I don't think I have an answer for this one yet. Yeah, I don't have an answer for that one yet, oh, so I still yeah? need to get one for that. Um, People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Okay, so I just got the answer for that. That was... This Even one? before they smell your breath? And then... What other one did I need to get? Uh, maybe this one? You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got a victory. You win. I still think we need to do another one. No, not the fork. Get out of the fork. Stop going in there, Guybrush. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Hopefully just maybe one or two more and then we'll be able to um, go back to Carla. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job okay. as janitor after all? Good one. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. That's this and one. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. I don't know if I have the answer to this one, do I? I'm sure I do. This one either, maybe? You have the manners of a it. beggar. Oh, I'm shaken. No, nope, oh, didn't get an I'm answer for shaken. it, so. Okay. Um, let me do this one. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I'm rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. All right, let's head in here. I think we can maybe try to go find, I have to see if I can remember how to get there, but I think we can maybe go find the Swordmaster now. Actually, I think I, I want to try to get this plant, too, because that prisoner said that it was illegal to pick these up. So... Yeah, so maybe if we take one, we can use it for something. do that. I just broke it. All right, here we are. Let's see if she'll fight us now. Come on, guy brush, run. Got places to go, people to see. How dare you approach the sword master with Oh, it's you again. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Sweet talker. Nothing like being honest. <laughs> I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I Indeed? can also tell from the Melee Time sports page that you've won only two fights. Oh, no. Not nearly enough to waste my time. 
Come on, Carla. I've been practicing. So we've got to win a couple more fights, probably. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? I just want to fight. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Um... Uh... To do. Which ones did I not have? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's a genius. have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. There we wow. go. You're good enough to fight the sword master. Easy peasy. Should we do one more for good measure before we go back and find Carla again? Well, we're here, so let's go. Didn't want to go to the fork, but we did it. Carla, I'm back. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. How about now? Can My I kill you now? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. Okay, nice. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. Okay, I haven't heard that one before. Milk will say the cow one. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Nice. Only once have I met such a coward. Okay. Um, I think it would be... Too bad no one's ever heard of you, or I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Let's try this one. I wanted Let's to make see. sure you'd feel comfortable no, with that me. That one's not the right one. There are no clever moves that can help you now. No clever moves. Yes, there are. You just yes, never learned them? Yes, there are. You just never learned them. There we go. Good one. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Okay. My tongue is sharper than any sword. I don't know. Which one should it be? First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Is that the right one? If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Uh oh. You make me, you think, make me think somebody already did. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Even before they Even smell your breath? Even before they smell your breath? I give up. You win. Nice. Well, I hope you're happy. You can I mean, go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here, this should convince them. Thank you kindly. 
All right, I think this is a good place to take a break. We definitely made some progress in this one. We've finally defeated the Swordmaster. In the next episode, we're definitely going to be looking into getting into the Governor's Mansion. And we'll see what other progress we can make in the next episode. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks so much for hanging around. I appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.